Egzamin maturalny z języka angielskiego. Poziom podstawowy. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie teksty do zadań od pierwszego do trzeciego. Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz dźwięk. W nagraniu przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z poleceniami oraz treścią zadań sygnalizowane dźwiękiem. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania w trakcie słuchania nagrań oraz w czasie przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. And now, something for those who want to have fun this weekend. With us today, we have Susan Arwood, the organizer of the annual Atlantic Coast Kite Festival. Susan, tell us something about the event. Well, this is the festival's seventh year. As usual, for those participants who are still developing their kite flying skills and need a helping hand, we're going to have kite building and flying workshops. They'll include kite materials and instructions how to build a kite. But the most important event this year is the best kite flying contest. How can you enter the contest? It's very simple. You just have to bring your kite and fly it. It can be a ready made kite bought in a shop or a kite designed and made by yourself. We'll judge how good you are at flying it. How long does the kite have to be in the air? Participants need to fly their kites at a height of about 30 meters for at least five minutes. It's not a very long time, but not everybody can do it. It all depends on the wind. Who can take part in the contest and how much does it cost to enter? There are three competitive age groups senior for adult participants, youth for teenagers, and novice for children. The good news is that you don't have to pay to participate in the contest. Are there any prizes? Sure. The winners in each age group will get a medal. In addition, the people present at the festival will be able to vote for their favourite kite. Their votes will then be collected in a special box and counted. If you want, you can see last year's winners on our website at www. .kitefestival.com Thank you Susan. Let's hope this weekend is really windy. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. And now, something for those who want to have fun this weekend. With us today, we have Susan Arwood, the organizer of the annual Atlantic Coast Kite Festival. Susan, tell us something about the event. Well, this is the festival's seventh year. As usual, for those participants who are still developing their kite flying skills and need a helping hand, we're going to have kite building and flying workshops. They'll include kite materials and instructions how to build a kite. But the most important event this year is the best kite flying contest. How can you enter the contest? It's very simple. You just have to bring your kite and fly it. It can be a ready made kite bought in a shop or a kite designed and made by yourself. We'll judge how good you are at flying it. How long does the kite have to be in the air? Participants need to fly their kites at a height of about 30 meters for at least five minutes. It's not a very long time, but not everybody can do it. It all depends on the wind. Who can take part in the contest and how much does it cost to enter? 
there are three competitive age groups. Senior, for adult participants, youth, for teenagers, and novice, for children. The good news is that you don't have to pay to participate in the contest. Are there any prizes? Sure. The winners in each age group will get a medal. In addition, the people present at the festival will be able to vote for their favourite kite. Their votes will then be collected in a special box and counted. If you want, you can see last year's winners on our website at www.kitefestival.com. Thank you, Susan. Let's hope this weekend is really windy. Zadanie drugie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. I once bought flowers online for my aunt's birthday. The bouquet that was delivered didn't look like the one shown on the website at all. Instead of red tulips, they sent yellow roses. The next day, the leaves started falling off. I contacted customer service and they promised to deliver another bouquet. But that never happened and I didn't get my money back. Well, I guess I've learnt my lesson. I'll never buy flowers online again. Two. Does your mum love flowers? If you're looking for gift ideas, bring her to our farm on Mother's Day. For just £35, our staff will arrange her selection of plants in a large pot that she can keep on the balcony. Please allow around one hour for the whole process, from looking around our shop and greenhouse to receiving the finished pot. We are open Mondays to Saturdays from 9am to 6pm. No booking is needed. We are looking forward to seeing you. Three. One of our listeners has asked whether you can turn a bouquet of flowers that somebody's given you into a plant that grows. Well, I've seen videos on YouTube about doing that with roses. You can put them into a bucket of soil instead of water, or even stick them into a potato. I was interested in the second method and decided to test it. I kept the roses out of the sun and added a special hormone to the potatoes. I had to wait eight weeks to find out if it was successful. The result was great. The roses started growing. Four. There are thousands of wildflowers in the UK, but some of them are gradually disappearing from our forests, woods and countryside. That is why I decided to join an organisation called The Forgotten Beauty which takes care of the flowers in national parks. At first, I was a volunteer, but a year ago, when I graduated, I started working full-time for the organisation. Five. From the floating gardens of water lilies in Africa to the delicate orchids of Japan... Our book takes you on a fantastic journey through the world of flowers, allowing you to visit fields of flowers 
and discover exotic plants along the way. All you have to do is to use the brushes and paints supplied with the book to create beautiful pictures page by page. This book isn't just for kids. It can also help adults to find peace and quiet after a hard and stressful day. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. One. I once bought flowers online for my aunt's birthday. The bouquet that was delivered didn't look like the one shown on the website at all. Instead of red tulips, they sent yellow roses. The next day, the leaves started falling off. I contacted customer service and they promised to deliver another bouquet. But that never happened and I didn't get my money back. Well, I guess I've learnt my lesson. I'll never buy flowers online again. Two. Does your mum love flowers? If you're looking for gift ideas, bring her to our farm on Mother's Day. For just £35, our staff will arrange her selection of plants in a large pot that she can keep on the balcony. Please allow around one hour for the whole process, from looking around our shop and greenhouse to receiving the finished pot. We are open Mondays to Saturdays from 9am to 6pm. No booking is needed. We are looking forward to seeing you. Three. One of our listeners has asked whether you can turn a bouquet of flowers that somebody's given you into a plant that grows. Well, I've seen videos on YouTube about doing that with roses. You can put them into a bucket of soil instead of water, or even stick them into a potato. I was interested in the second method and decided to test it. I kept the roses out of the sun and added a special hormone to the potatoes. I had to wait eight weeks to find out if it was successful. The result was great. The roses started growing. Four. There are thousands of wildflowers in the UK, but some of them are gradually disappearing from our forests, woods and countryside. That is why I decided to join an organisation called The Forgotten Beauty which takes care of the flowers in national parks. At first, I was a volunteer, but a year ago, when I graduated, I started working full-time for the organisation. Five. From the floating gardens of water lilies in Africa to the delicate orchids of Japan... Our book takes you on a fantastic journey through the world of flowers, allowing you to visit fields of flowers and discover exotic plants along the way. All you have to do is to use the brushes and paints supplied with the book to create beautiful pictures page by page. This book isn't just for kids. It can also help adults to find peace and quiet after a hard and stressful day. Zadanie trzecie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania do tekstu pierwszego. Tekst 1. Two police officers on patrol got a surprise last weekend. They saw a penguin walking up a village street near Nottingham. The bird had managed to escape from a nearby mini-zoo. Police Constable Gareth Philp said, We see some interesting things while we are on duty, but a penguin on a village high street is one of the strangest things we have come across. The bird posed for some pictures with the police officers while they contacted the zoo. 
The penguin was then safely transported home. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Two police officers on patrol got a surprise last weekend. They saw a penguin walking up a village street near Nottingham. The bird had managed to escape from a nearby mini zoo. Police Constable Gareth Philp said, We see some interesting things while we are on duty, but a penguin on a village high street is one of the strangest things we have come across. The bird posed for some pictures with the police officers while they contacted the zoo. The penguin was then safely transported home. Zapoznaj się z treścią zadania do tekstu drugiego. Text 2. We're proud to welcome you on board the California Zephyr. We'll do everything we can to ensure you enjoy the trip and the spectacular scenery. On your seat, you'll find a route guide map. The symbol of a camera marks the most beautiful sights we'll be passing by, so have your camera ready. The California Zephyr will stop twice to be serviced, each time for an hour. This will give you a chance to get souvenirs which are sold on the platforms. Please be back in your seat in time for departure. The head conductor will blow the whistle two minutes before leaving the station. Carriage number five is the restaurant car. You can also order cold snacks to be brought to your compartment. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. We're proud to welcome you on board the California Zephyr. We'll do everything we can to ensure you enjoy the trip and the spectacular scenery. On your seat, you'll find a route guide map. The symbol of a camera marks the most beautiful sights we'll be passing by, so have your camera ready. The California Zephyr will stop twice to be serviced, each time for an hour. This will give you a chance to get souvenirs which are sold on the platforms. Please be back in your seat in time for departure. The head conductor will blow the whistle two minutes before leaving the station. Carriage number five is the restaurant car. You can also order cold snacks to be brought to your compartment. Zapoznaj się z treścią zadania do tekstu trzeciego. Text 3. I'm talking to John Ramsey, a college student who has become a local hero. John, tell us how it happened. Well, I stopped my car in front of a cash machine to get some money. When I got out, I saw a large plastic bag on the pavement. I opened it and saw that it was full of banknotes. I was shocked because I'd never seen so much money in my life. Before I put it on the back seat of my car to keep it safe, I took a picture of the bag, and then I called the police. Two police officers arrived within minutes. I handed over the money to them and answered all their questions. Is it true that you're going to work for the local police? Actually, I don't know yet. When I was talking to the police officers, I told them that I had always wanted to be a detective and that I was studying law. I was lucky because they were just looking for police trainees and they invited me to a job interview which I'm going to have tomorrow. It's a part-time job and it's not well paid, but that's okay with me. 
I still live with my parents. Most importantly, I'll get some experience and I'll be able to study and work at the same time. The only problem is that the interview starts at 8am and I'm afraid I won't be on time. So I'll set three alarm clocks for 6am tomorrow morning. I don't want to be late and make a bad impression. You have also received several rewards from the local community. Yes, it's been amazing. Three local companies each presented me with a $100 cash reward, and I got some gift vouchers from local shops. I've also been getting attention on social media, but the best thing was the chance to talk to my favourite basketball team after a match they played in our town. I really enjoyed that. It was nice to talk to you, John. Thanks a lot. We wish you all the very best. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. I'm talking to John Ramsey, a college student who has become a local hero. John, tell us how it happened. Well, I stopped my car in front of a cash machine to get some money. When I got out, I saw a large plastic bag on the pavement. I opened it and saw that it was full of banknotes. I was shocked because I'd never seen so much money in my life. Before I put it on the back seat of my car to keep it safe, I took a picture of the bag, and then I called the police. Two police officers arrived within minutes. I handed over the money to them and answered all their questions. Is it true that you're going to work for the local police? Actually, I don't know yet. When I was talking to the police officers, I told them that I had always wanted to be a detective and that I was studying law. I was lucky because they were just looking for police trainees and they invited me to a job interview which I'm going to have tomorrow. It's a part-time job and it's not well paid, but that's okay with me. I still live with my parents. Most importantly, I'll get some experience and I'll be able to study and work at the same time. The only problem is that the interview starts at 8am and I'm afraid I won't be on time. So I'll set three alarm clocks for 6am tomorrow morning. I don't want to be late and make a bad impression. You have also received several rewards from the local community. Yes, it's been amazing. Three local companies each presented me with a $100 cash reward, and I got some gift vouchers from local shops. I've also been getting attention on social media, but the best thing was the chance to talk to my favourite basketball team after a match they played in our town. I really enjoyed that. It was nice to talk to you, John. Thanks a lot. We wish you all the very best. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął.